Hello, I'm Fast Lawyer. Today we're doing a Let's Play Sackboy, a big adventure in 3D in VR using the Geo 11 3D driver. And I don't want to spend too much time here trying to select, but I know I have Nathan Drake. There we go. There we go. <laughs> uh, so yeah, this is in 3D in VR using the Geo 11 3D driver and the Universal Unreal Engine 3D fix. Now, funny enough, this game does actually start your VR headset natively. So if you have a VR headset connected to your PC, this game does start it, but the screen is black, so you may not even notice it. Uh, but if you actually have your VR headset on and you try to start this game, you'll notice Oh wait, something's going on here with my VR headset. It just doesn't render correctly. But if you type in minus VR, it'll actually start rendering somewhat correctly. Uh, but there'll still be some glitches. Now, in VR, this is actually a totally different experience than in 3D in VR using the GO11 3D driver. That's because in VR, this is a 360 3D game, which is very trippy. So the map is all around you. New costume, all right. <laughs> and I would have loved to have shown you guys that, but the problem is it just, there's too many issues with VR. So the biggest thing is that the camera doesn't uh, show correctly. So um, the camera pretty much goes its own way. I don't, I'm not sure I want to go there. I want to go the other way. So, oh, I guess I, you don't, we don't have a choice. We have to go this way now. Okay, all right. So in VR, it just doesn't render correctly. And unfortunately, it makes the game unplayable because the camera just doesn't follow you so you can't really see the action so because it worked in vr just natively by typing minus vr in the game launch options i thought well let me try the geo 11 3d driver uh but obviously because vr turns on by itself when you play this game you have to type in minus no hmd in the game launch options that's so your vr headset doesn't turn on automatically and then on top of that, why does it say slap? What do you slap exactly? I don't, I'm not sure on that game mechanic there. Uh, by the way, I'm totally new to the Sackboy Little Big Planet. I think I played a little bit, um, but definitely haven't really played the series all that much. So I'm, I'm still new to this game and to the series, but so far I'm really enjoying it and I really like the visuals. Uh, but anyways, as I was saying, you have to type in no HMD, minus no HMD, and also minus the X11 to force the X11. And it's real simple with the Unreal Engine and Geo 11. So all you have to do is download the Unreal Engine 3D Fix, the latest one. Because it, er, oh man, I lost some life there. That, I took some damage, oh no. So I have, all you have to do is download that, unzip it, put all, copy all the files to the game folder, obviously because this is an Unreal Engine game. It'll be uh, not in the first executable that you see, but um, it'll be a little farther away than the game folder. You want the game folder that basically says when shipping 64 um, on it. So you copy the files, then you just run the GO11 command. So you see, once you unzip the files, extract them and copy them to the game folder, you just run the GO11 command and choose either top and bottom or side by side depending on what you want to do 
like I normally use Helix Vision, so I normally play this tab, top and bottom 3D. But the reason you're seeing side by side is because YouTube only does side by side 3D videos, so I'm going counter to what uh, I would normally choose. <laughs> so cute. Uh, I think the visuals look great, but there's some obvious visual glitches. And I'm going to try to upload this to YouTube in 3D. And hopefully you're seeing the same thing, exact same thing that I'm seeing. So you can see some visual glitches at time. You know, for the most part, this game does look beautiful though. Um, I mean, this game looks good in 2D. It looks good in Pancake. But in 3D, it just looks, you know, next level. It's, it's simply amazing. And, uh, I've taken more damage than I probably should have already. But yeah, I mean, hopefully you can see some of the visual glitches that I'm talking about. Uh, you'll see through some objects, you know, not everything renders quite correctly. Especially in the cinematic cutscenes, I think you notice more issues in 3D, but despite those issues, this game still looks absolutely beautiful in 3D. And I highly recommend this game, um, even with even with the visual glitches, because it looks so beautiful. Obviously, it's not the best 3D experience. I'm not trying to say the 3D is perfect, because it's not. There's there's several visual glitches that I think you'll notice from this 3D video upload. Um, but keep in mind, I'm using the Universal Unreal Engine 3D Fix to fix some of these issues, but it's not tailored specifically for this game. So until someone makes a specific fix for Sackboy, it's not going to look perfect in 3D, but I think it's 90% there. I think it's just 10% that needs to be fixed. So I don't think there's a lot of fixing that needs to be done in this game to make it a perfect 3D experience. Uh, with DX11, it's actually running at a steady 120, well, not steady, but mostly 120 frames per second on my RTX 3080. Uh, I have noticed some frame rate drops at time. Uh, I've seen that thing as, as low as, as 60, <laughs> but uh, usually only a few frame rate drop from the 120. So yeah, I think this game looks gorgeous in 3D, in VR, and I hope you enjoyed this 3D video that I'm going to upload to YouTube. And yeah, I highly recommend it. Like I said, it's pretty easy to do. So if you have VR I think a, and you own this game, I think it's a no-brainer to try it. And you might even want to just want to try the VR. Like I said, VR is not perfect, but uh, there's <laughs> there's obviously some some issues with the VR. Like I said, the camera doesn't follow you. But after you try the native VR, the minus VR, go ahead and try this uh, Go Eleven 3D driver. Like I said, all you have to do is download the Unreal Engine 3D Fix that already has the Go Eleven on it. Just copy the files to the game folder. Just run the Go11 command, uh, and then if you just choose side, side by side, uh, just choose that one when you're running the command, and you'll get to Virtual Desktop. Otherwise, choose Tab for Helix Vision. With Helix Vision, then you'll have to automatically uh, edit the INI file, and you have to figure out. There we go. We open up that little spot there. Awesome. So yeah, anyways, that's my video. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, have a wonderful day. Goodbye.